What's happening guys? Welcome to today's tip. This is an exciting video. Why? One, because I'm using the C100 Mark II over there. First video with it. How's it looking so far? Hopefully it's looking all right. But the other reason why I'm excited is because we've got a cool effect that we're gonna be going over here and that is the color generator. Now, have you used this before? If not, it's pretty easy. It helps you change the color of stuff. So check it out. Maybe you've got a cool energy effect, kind of like this guy right here. Comes in that color, but what if you wanna change the color to be something like this? Or maybe you've got a little basic arrow coming on through and you don't want it to be white there. You wanna change the color, kind of like this. Well, it's easy to do using the color generator. Or if you've got more fancy looking arrows that kind of look like this, that's the regular color, and then boom, throw on the color generator, and then they look like this. You can make them any color that you want. It even works with cool hand-drawn graphics, kind of like these guys. Change the color, boom, drop on the color generator, and it looks like this. Or last example here before we jump into it, a wacky inflatable guy. Check that out, right? He's yellow, orange, whatever color he is there. Throw on the color generator. We can make him any color that we want. All right, so we're in DaVinci Resolve here. Let's take a look at the first example here, the VFX Energy Element. And if we look at the screen here, we got the little fly, little wispy things flying onto the screen, and they came in a bluish kind of color. So let's say I want to change the color. I don't like that color. What do I do? Well, you want to open up your effects library. Up, oh, backing up a little bit. I'm in the edit tab right here. Do all my work in the edit tab. Don't worry about the cut tab. Jump into the edit tab. So you want to open the effects library right here at the top. You want to come down to your open effects and filters. Click on that. And we want to scroll down until we get to resolve FX generate. And inside here, we're going to see the color generator. So all you have to do is click on it, drag it and drop it onto your clip. Now you notice in this example, everything kind of turns white, gets a little blown out. So let's adjust uh, the effect a little bit here. Select your effect, come on into the effects. Now in the color generator here, I can select whatever color I want. Let's say I want to go with green because that's easy. Now it does look pretty cool, um, but it looks like it's maybe a little blown out there with the colors. It ain't that bad, you know, but if you wanted to kind of blend it in a little bit more, come on over to your inspector. And actually, if you didn't have your inspector open right there, there you go, inspector. Open up your global blend and here you, you can adjust the amount of color that's getting thrown in there, right? So you can see we can actually just fade it in and we can get a, you know, a super bright green or we can go like around 50%, get to, what's that, a little mint green looking, a little mint green. So when we play through, then we got it and it looks green. It's pretty cool. So you can adjust it however you want and you've got lots of options on the colors that you can use, right? You throw the green on there and you've got a whole range of shades that you can use by using that global blend. Now, one thing that would be helpful is that you wanna make sure that your clips here do have a transparent background. Now, if they don't, if they have either a black background or a white background, you can change the blend mode of it and that's gonna get rid of the background for you. But then sometimes, you know, the effect's a little wonky. So if you have a transparent background, that's gonna be your best bet for getting this effect to work. Taking another look at this example right here with the arrow, so here is our base basic arrow, right? Flying across the screen and hitting the other side there. Let's say same thing. Going to grab my color generator, drop it on there. And then I'm going to select my clip, make sure I've got the inspector open, come to my effects and we're going to change the color. I want YouTube red. Boom. So something like this where it's a solid object, no problem. I really don't need to mess with the blend, although you can if you want a special color or something that's not quite as saturated as the red. And that's it. Boom. There you go. I mean, it, it's just that easy to change the color of some of these effects here. And even any of these fancier arrows that you see here, it's going to be the same thing, right? We're going to want to select our, uh, our arrow, our clip, drag and drop on the color generator. And by default, the color generator is white. So you can see in this case, the one arrow is now white and you can leave it white if you want. That's fine. You can throw a little drop shadow on there if you want. That could, that could work. It could look kind of cool. Or you can, again, just go into your effects and change it to any color that you want. I'm going to say yellow. Boom. There you go. And in this case, you know, it works out pretty good to just use the full effect on there. I could drop back the blend a little bit if I wanted to. Make it a little orangey, whatever. It, it just depends on exactly what you're looking for. Now, real quick, before I show you these last few effects, I just wanted to mention Motion Array. All of these overlays that you see in this video, I got from Motion Array. And man, I, I gotta tell you, they have some awesome stuff there. The overlays that they got, and I've used them in a lot of my videos from little explosions like this for, you know, people winning things to the arrows that you've seen here. 
to the little floaty guy you're going to see at the end of the video here. They all come from Motion Array. Literally, I go on Motion Array all the time, and I just kind of browse around because there's so much good stuff on there that, like, I, I just look around, and it just gives me ideas of, of videos I can make or ways that I can use different assets in my videos. But not only that, they have awesome templates that you can use right here in DaVinci Resolve, as well as other video editors if you use some other programs. Download the templates, you pop in your footage, you can get awesome intros, you can get outros, you can get all kinds of great stuff. They've got titles, they've got social media, little things that fly on the screen. I mean, pretty much any kind of asset that you might be looking for, you can go to Motion Array and get it. And the biggest reason I think that you want to use a service like this is just to save you time. I mean, sure, you can learn how to create all these things on your own, but that takes a lot of time. And you want to get there and you want to crank out your videos, right? Whether it's for clients, whether it's for YouTube, you want to be able to get through those projects quickly so you can move on to the next one, so you can get to the next client, so you can get to your next YouTube video. And using a service like Motion Array that has so many awesome assets just helps you speed up your process and just really helps bring your videos to the next level without you having to do as much work as if you had to go ahead and create it all yourself. Highly, highly recommend Motion Array. Check them out. There's so much good stuff there. I love them. Thank you so much, Motion Array, for sponsoring today's video. And with that said, let's jump back and check out these last two examples here with some cool hand-drawn effects that we can use here in Resolve, as well as a cool floaty guy that you saw in the beginning there. Let's check it out. All right, check this out, hand-drawn effects. We got an exclamation point, an eyeball, and another eyeball, because if you reverse it, it makes the eyeball longer and does the same thing, just in reverse. Good idea, right? So let's drop on our color generator. I'm just gonna drop it on all three of these guys real quick. So easy, so let's say I wanna change the color of my effect here. You can even pick different colors here. I mean, I'm on a Mac, if you're on a PC, I'm sure it's similar, you get a color wheel or something. Pick whatever color you want, I'm gonna go orange here. Boom, there you go. It's just that easy. Now the eyeball, I've dropped two on there. Let's say we want that one eyeball to be one color and another eyeball to be the, a different color. So let's go with green. And on this other guy, I'm gonna go with purple. So when we play through it, here's what we get. Pretty cool, right? I mean, eyeball changes color there. It's a cool drawing. I mean, it's cool. I like that stuff. I think it's cool. You guys think it's cool or what? And the last one, we have this floaty inflatable guy, tube guy here. Come on, we've all seen these on the side of the road, right? A little sale going on or something. They got the inflatable guy, right? So this one came in orange. I downloaded it right from Motion Array. But let's say I wanted to change the color of it. I'm gonna select my clip here, drop on the color generator. Now, one thing to notice, you can see here that it made it all white, right? Almost like an alpha channel kind of thing. So in this case, and this is going to be true for some of the clips, depending on which ones you're using and, and what the background looks like and stuff like that. I'm going to come into my effect and I'm going to pick a color here. I don't know. Let's just go with cyan there. In this case, I'm going to want to use the global blend and I'm going to just back it down here. And, you know, I mean, you can still see the other color coming through a little bit. So you might need to play with it a little bit, but it kind of depends on the clip. You know, you can still see it there. kind of just shades it, puts a fade on it, which is okay in this case. I mean, I'm okay with that. You know, you may need to play with it a little bit depending on your clip and, and what the asset is that you're trying to change the color of. I mean, maybe you even want just the outline of it. Maybe that's okay too. Or maybe you just want to change the color a little bit. You can just drop that blend mode way down and, uh, or drop the blend, not the blend mode, but drop the blend down. And then that's gonna, you know, just give a little different color on there for you. All right, guys, that wraps up this video here. The color generator, it's a sweet tool. It's great to have that in your tool belt to just help change the color of stuff quickly. I use it all the time. It's great and I love it. Thank you to Motion Array for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to check them out, I got a link in the description below. Hit that link. You can save a few dollars if you decide to sign up with their service. And they're awesome. I mean, I've been using them in my videos for a long time, and it just helps take my videos to that next level as well as speed up my workflow. So I am done here. Guys, tell me, how did the video look this time? This whole video I filmed with the C100 Mark II, and usually I use my 5D Mark IV, so I'm kind of curious how well does this work? Really, I'm, I'm curious to get in there and start editing this because this camera is awesome. I mean, yeah, it's a few years old, but it's got a 4K sensor down sampled to 1080. Super excited about working with it here. And I've already got the Canon L glass to throw on there. So we've got good glass and glass is a big part of the battle there, right? Got to have the good glass to put on your good camera so you get some good video. Anyways, with that said, I'm getting this into the computer. I'm going to edit this up in DaVinci Resolve so I can check it out. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.